We got some breaking news. Matthew Perry, dead at 54. Apparently he died in a hot tub. My God. And he was a beloved character in the cast of Friends. If not, the funniest one, a lot of people think. And he did a, wrote a tell-all book that was pretty tragic. Um, he suffered with a lot of addiction, and he had a lot of weight gain and and things of this nature. Um, my goodness, Matthew Perry's dead at 54. And here's the story. Tonight, we begin with breaking news. Friends star Matthew Perry has died. Yeah. Law enforcement sources tell the LA Times the actor was found dead at his home in LA today, where it appears he drowned in a hot tub. According to the LA Times, no foul play is involved. Perry, of course, most famous for his role as Chandler on the hit 90s sitcom, which ran for 10 seasons. He also starred, though, and guest starred in countless other TV shows, including Boys Will Be Boys and Growing Pains, Beverly Hills 90210. Matthew Perry was just 54 years old. Joining us now on the phone is Sam Rubin. And Sam, of course, you've interviewed Perry many times over the years. His death obviously has shocked everybody tonight here in Hollywood. Rick and Alina, this is extraordinarily sad news. I think the man that would be referred to as perhaps people's funniest friend or favorite friend, Chandler Bing was an extraordinarily popular character. And Matthew Perry brought him to life in the most amazing way. And what's also amazing is during that portrayal, which lasted for nearly a decade, Matthew Perry, for about half that time, coped with extraordinary addictions. In fact, in his tell-all book, which was released less than a year ago and was incredibly revealing and painful, he talked about two or three seasons of the show that he doesn't even remember. Uh, and after Friends, of course, and a successful film career, a lot of television cameos, he really wrestled with addiction more so perhaps than, than any star in recent memory. Uh, so much so, I remember attending a premiere of a miniseries that he was involved in uh, depicting the Kennedy clan, and he was there with a sober minder by his side, somebody to make sure that he did not stray or fall prey to temptation. Uh, alcohol was a problem for him, uh, drugs as well, and it, it's this terrible contrast when there was that highly touted Friends reunion, he did appear with his five other cast members. But while all of them seemed to have aged well and had been very happy uh, in their, their current lives, Matthew Perry, you could just tell, uh, and I think it's a colloquial phrase, but yeah. completely applicable, had been through it. So this is sad news and, and upsetting news, but... Uh, how, how much he entertained people, Rick, and, and what a difficult struggle he had. It just goes to show you money can't, I guess, buy you happiness. I mean, the guy made millions of dollars. It's so sad. And he wasn't happy. Money can't buy you happiness. You got to have a good support system. Family that loves you. You love them. You need You need a shoulder to lean on. God, it's a tragedy. I mean, it, it literally is. I mean, that see that show went for ten years, and they were probably they were some of the top uh, earners at the time. They made stupid money. Plus, all the movies he did, he did some pretty decent movies, and he wrote that book. It's it's incredible. It's just incredible. Here's a flashback of an interview from 2016 with him. Uh, Matthew Perry, it's lovely yes. to see you here Thank you. in this amazing theatre. Yes. Um, I have to say congratulations on your playwriting debut. Thank you. I imagine a whole different set of nerves for you then. It is very nerve-wracking mm. because it's, I wrote it and I'm in it, so you oh, kind nice. of feel doubly naked. Yeah. yeah, and especially on the stage as well, because it's so different from TV, because you're very exposed, aren't you, in a way? Yeah, well, you can't make a mistake, Yeah. because you don't get a second take, mm -hmm. so it's different. Well, you can make mistakes, but you just have to kind of roll with it, don't Yeah, you? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. If somebody so, makes a mistake, you have to kind of go yeah. with it. Now, you, I know you have written before in the past, you've contributed to, to Friends, obviously, but this is something you did completely on your own. So, yeah. so tell me about that process and how different it was. Well, I just started writing because I wanted to see if I could write something on my own. Mm. And these monologues came out. Those were the first things that I came out and I realized I was writing a play. 
Yeah. So I kept writing until I was finished, mm -hmm. and then I sent it to some friends, and they liked it, and here we are. Yeah, but you, you wrote the first draft incredibly quickly, didn't you? The first draft I wrote quickly, and then I've been rewriting for about a year. Mm. What, what were the areas that you, you know, that, that you were trying to hone down, that you were trying to perfect? Well, I wanted to make it funny, mm. and I also wanted to make <laughs> it heartfelt, and I wanted to make it emotional. Mm. And people have been laughing and crying, and yeah. that's what we want to yeah. see. Because you've had people in here watching it. You've had the first few shows, yeah. haven't you, reviews. What, what's it been like, the reaction from the audience? It's been so great. Far? We've been getting standing ovations. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always so good. Yeah. That must just fill you with confidence. You say you got the nerves, but you must be feeling really good yeah, about no, that. Yeah, no, it feels very good to get that reaction. Yeah. A little irony, the play is uh, called The End of Longing. And you could really tell when you watched his most recent interviews that he was really struggling with himself. And, you know, we all wanted to believe that he turned that corner in reference to, you know, some of his substance abuse issues in the past. Sam, do we know anything about the circumstances leading up to his death? Maybe what he was doing in recent days? Was he alone? Any insight into that? Not, not so much, Alina. I'm sure we'll get more of that in the next few hours or next few days. We do know that he had a new residence that he moved into a new place recently uh, and that he was the type of person who moved with some degree of regularity for a long time. He had a spectacular residence uh, in one of the condo complexes in Century City with one of these, you know, commanding views of the city. Then he developed this extraordinary affection and talked about it for pickleball. And he oh. wanted to be in a circumstance where he could play and enjoy pickleball all the time. He said that was his uh, newest obsession and addiction. And so apparently he just very recently moved into a new home in the Hollywood area, a home that, among other things, seemingly had an outdoor, uh, likely pool and jacuzzi. Uh, and that, of course, is, is where the headlines take us today. Uh, it's very sad way. One thing about Matthew Perry is he wasn't a finger pointer. He didn't blame others for the troubles that he faced. And, and he talked about uh, how this was something... Uh, as a young man breaking into Hollywood, and then it sort of put it at bay. And then, of course, uh, with the extraordinary success of Friends and all the uh, temptations that success, uh, economic and otherwise, bring, uh, I, I think he just succumbed to them, certainly for a period of time. His his book, which is, is very good, and, and Friends fans and Matthew Perry fans, I don't know if they would take comfort in it, but they might bring a greater understanding because it just details in the most extraordinary way mm. uh, the battles he faced. Yeah. And, you know, we, we talk about the typical arc of rehab and the like. Uh, he literally went to rehab a countless number of times. Uh, it, it's been a difficult road for Matthew Perry, for sure. Yeah, Sam, I know we've seen the, the cover of the book on the screen here. We know he had the reunion. Are you aware of any other projects? that he had that were coming forward right now that he now will not be able to take part in? Rick, that's a very good question. And, and often, if you look at someone's IMDb page, there are things in development the like. Obviously, sure. the actors have been out on strike for several months, so there would be nothing uh, currently in the works. He also, because of Friends, uh, was completely economically independent, one of these people who truly would never have to work another day in his life. And often, when people have these addiction battles, they lose all their resources. He didn't. At least he was uh, careful with that. Um, so so as, as to other work from him, there's none that I'm aware of. But, you know, he was a creative person, a smart person, and had this extraordinary affection from a fan community. So uh, it, it's a big, big loss that I think people yeah. are taking in a sort of, you know, shocked way. You know, as someone who grew up with friends, I'm a big fan of Matthew Perry, not only on TV, but also he was a movie star. When you think about Fool's Russian and also the whole nine wires, he really captivated an audience. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing any statements or how, how is Hollywood reacting to this? Are you hearing anything, Sam? You know what, Alina, I think this is the, the circumstance where people are taking in this news. Sure. First, because it's so startling. Hey, is this really true? I think we're all coming to the sad realization. Yes, it is really true. My expectation is, is you'll hear from people, probably not for a few hours, if not till tomorrow, that people need to take this in and, and then uh, come up with their thoughts. You mentioned the whole nine yards and an amusing story there. He and Bruce Willis had a bet about the box office outcome, and Matthew Perry won that bet, which facilitated 
Bruce Willis doing a guest arc on Friends at Matthew Perry's invitation and as a result of uh, that bet. So, you know, I, I think colleagues spoke well of him. He, when he was well, he was well-liked yeah. uh, and obviously enormously talented. Uh, it was just the experience of not being well. And I think, in large part, that's what likely claimed him today. All right, Sam. A lot of people in shock tonight. Matthew Perry dead at the age of 54. Sam yeah. Urban, we appreciate you joining us and your input on the, on the story. That's, it's just tragic. Um, tell me a little bit about the play then, and it's set in L.A., isn't it? It's set in L.A., it's about... Uh, and what's pickleball, by the way? Four people in their 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. kind of broken people trying to become unbroken mm -hmm. and find love and romance, mm -hmm. basically. Nice. And your character? My character is a drunk mm -hmm. who uh, falls in love with a prostitute, <laughs> so it's a very adult play. <laughs> You're not going to want to bring your 13-year-olds to this play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a lot of swearing in it. Okay. My goodness. Which British audiences seem to enjoy. I tell you, us lo Londoners love it. <laughs> yeah, they like it. <laughs> Our show's on very early in the evening, so we won't be going down that road. But no, 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 I will swear on this show. We have a wicked side to us, though. Uh, yeah, you do. Because you must have spent quite a lot of time here in London when I you're did. rehearsing. Rehearsing, and I did a play here in 2003, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> the only two places I've done a play is the West End. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you like about it? Well, I'll put the link in the description, and y'all can watch the rest of the... Uh, it's a flashback of Matthew Perry. Um, it's just a tragedy. Well, my heart goes out to the family and friends of Matthew Perry. He will be missed. I have a family member in the household who would watch this constantly, just have it on. Friends. I think she had bought all the, um, you know, on Prime, you can buy the series. She's got the series of Friends. She'd be watching it all the time. She loved it. But, uh, yeah, I called her earlier. I was like, did you know? I, she's downstairs, and I call her. She's like, what? I was like, she goes, make sure it's true. I was like, it's all over the news. It's got to be true. It's, you know, how you get the fake ones that say somebody's dead, but uh, this is true. Unfortunately, it is true. And I, either he had a heart attack, I can speculate all day long, just like everybody else. Either he's in a hot tub by himself, never swim or get in a hot tub when you're alone. Even if you're an adult, you should never do it. You could have a stroke, aneurysm. I don't know. You shouldn't be drinking and getting in a hot tub. And, and nobody's there, so that that's a possibility, and it's such, and it's tragic. But sad news today: Matthew Perry dead at 54. It's a sad day. Everyone have a good evening.